Shelly Royal, an uneasy feeling now surrounds this church. Many of the people inside grabbed only what they could carry and got away from the flames. And now a waiting game begins. And I look and I mean, I'm seeing probably thousand foot tall flames easy. It's a sight many couldn't believe. Grabbed up my wife and dogs and whatever we could grab and headed out. A fast spreading wildfire in the Jemez Mountains that's still threatening hundreds of homes tonight. This evening we saw crews monitoring fire lines and staying alert as the blaze moves. Thankfully everyone in danger was evacuated. The only concern, pets, livestock. How many horses do you have? I have eight and dogs and chickens and goats so I'm trying to get them all out. And property. I'm hoping that nothing proceeds past where we're at, but right now I don't know where we stand. Down the road at Jemez Mountain Baptist Church, about 30 people are displaced, including the church's pastor, Eric Larson. Your house could be potentially in danger, but you didn't hesitate when you needed to facilitate for people in need. That, that I mean, yeah. I mean, the house is a house. We need to focus on the community. And as crews stay busy tonight, many will go to sleep here, hoping and waiting for the best. Fire officials tell us that they will likely use infrared from the air tonight to see just exactly how many acres have been burned in this fire. They're expected to give us a briefing and update tomorrow morning. Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News.